go see who's up front. Mad doctor? We'll stop here and sneak up on him. There's the ambulance, and they're unloading Shaggy and Scooby. Jeepers, look at that. Stacks and stacks of gold bullion. And what looks like a bread wrapping machine is used to disguise the gold. Come on, somehow we've got to rescue Shaggy and Scooby. Who? Who's this? Stop! Scooby? Catch him! Don't let him get away! We found Scooby! Sorry, what's happening? Oh, oh. Like hell! After them! <laughs> Zoinks! That mad doctor's ghost and those ambulance guys are after us! Oh. They're getting closer, Scoop! Oh, we're goners! We're stopping! Uh -oh. We're gonna crash! Back, you fools! Back! They come. Now we'll find out who the mad doctor really is. Well, there's only one person it could be Dr. Tewksbury. <gasps> Officer Oldfield? The man posing as Officer Oldfield is actually the ringleader of a multi-million dollar gold robbery that occurred in Montreal a month ago. And like he played ghosts and used those dogs to scare people away from the sanitarium. Hmm. To get the gold as far as the border, the smugglers cast it into human-shaped figures wearing those wigs we found. Then they shipped the figures by ambulance so the authorities would think they were just patients and let the ambulance go through. Very clever. Then they brought the gold figures to the sanitarium and melted them down into gold bars for that solar furnace you found. And finally, they bring the gold bars to the cave, disguise them in bread wrappers, and take them across the border into the USA. But what about Dr. Gooseberry? Tewksbury. He had nothing to do with it. Quiet down there! A man's trying to get some sleep! Like, how do you like that? He slept through the whole thing! <laughs> <laughs> One thing this mystery taught us, like Scooby's a real Fred Astaire. Scooby, you're a marvelous dancer. <laughs> <laughs> And like Scoob's a great runner, too. <laughs> <laughs>